Good morning guys, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have got, well, basically my idea of a great morning out today. We're off to Home Bargains. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do is go for a good old home bargain shop. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Sorry, I'm scanning because I'm like in a busy car park and I feel like people are watching me. I'm sure no one cares, but they're probably just wondering why on earth I'm talking to my dashboard. So there we go. Anyway, I'm gonna be totally honest with you and say I don't need anything. Um, Actually, no, that's a lie. I could probably do with some washing detergent, but that is literally it. There's nothing else I need today. So we all know that doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy anything because it's home bargains. And I don't mean to drop the C-bomb early doors, but I do hear there's some good Christmas stuff in at the moment. So I feel like we have to go and have a look. It's only right to do so. So gotta have a look at the cleaning bits, gotta have a look at the Christmas bits, and got to have a look at their home decor because they always smash it, don't they? They just always have nice little bits in. So. That's where we're going today. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to feel brave enough to film whilst I'm going around so I can show you a few bits of what they've got and then I'll obviously do a little bit of a haul when I get home. So let's get into home bargains. <coughs> we felt right to start down the cleaning aisle today and look at all these toilet cleaners they've got. But these Harpic ones are two for £2.30, which seems like a good deal to me. So this is my favorite scent, the Mountain Pines. So we're gonna get two of those. This is the fabric conditioner I normally go to, just go for, just because it's normally really good on my skin, but I've got loads at the moment, so I don't need to get any more. The thing I do want to get though is one of these, because I've been using this at the moment, and I'm really enjoying the smell. And it does also, it does really well in a cold wash, which is always good for those quick spins we like to do. I've heard really good things about these scents. I've seen a few people using them on Instagram, so I feel like I should give these a go. I wonder if you can like smell them through the lid. Okay, you can smell them. It's called a blast can air fresher. That smells really fresh. This is one billion. It smells good, just not my normal kind of scent. Oh, this is alien with an X. Do you reckon that's anything like the alien perfume? Oh my God, yes it is. I need to get one of those. Absolute last thing I need to add to my cleaning cupboard is anything from the pink stuff as I have so much of their stuff already. Really, really rate their scrubbing brush. It's got like, I think it comes with four different heads, but the whole kit with the pink stuff paste is only 9.99 in here. Love their floor cleaner, obviously love the paste. Bathroom foam is great as well. The cream cleaner is one of my faves too, but they've got a whole selection in here. Did also see that the pink stuff have got their selection of laundry bits in here as well, which are always so fab. I always think Home Bargains does really well is birthday decorations, little gift bags, balloons, things like that. If you need any gift bags, these are really reasonable. Most of them are under a pound. Tissue paper, little bits like that. First of the Christmas aisle, guys. I just can't help myself. I'm such a Christmas lover that if there is anything remotely Christmassy, I have got to have a look at it. I do always like their gift wrap, to be honest. They have some quite nice bits, but I always like to do a theme with my gift wrapping each year, like pit stick to a colour theme, and I'm not quite decided on what I want to go for this year, but they've got some really cute ones. This car one is really, really sweet. So that's £1.29, which is really good value, but I think that's really cute. Um, they've got a few things on that kind of colour theme in here. So some really little nice ones. Obviously they've got all the classic kids ones in here too. Just spotted this multi-pack of gift wrap and ribbon, which is only £3.99, which seems really good value. But again, if you're going for the neutral themes, this is a really cute little colour. I mean, Christmas snacks, this is really where I want to be. This is my kind of idea of a great snack selection. Um, oh my God, these are little gingerbread houses. We did a girls' night last year where we did a decorate your gingerbread houses and it was such a nice little evening. I'm wondering if I just pick one up now because they do go out of stock really quickly. Thank you to these little biscuit tins. They are giving me all the M&S vibes. So the little shortbread tins, they seem really, really good value for 2 99 So I've got the little marching soldiers down here. Oh, the dogs are cute. And obviously these little cars, but they seem really good value for 2 99 Just spotted their Christmas hot chocolate selection, which again, they always do as nice little, just little stocking fillers or little gifts if you're not sure what to get anyone. You just don't get them like a main present. You just get them a little something, you know? Ooh, that looks like a bit of me. I've got to get one of those. Malteser and Galaxy white chocolate. I love white chocolate. I don't have that many Christmas decorations in at the moment, which by the way is totally fair because it is the beginning of October. But this little doormat is really cute. I like that. And if you're going for sort of a sweet theme, they've got lots of options for that too. And a lot of people think things are like this attacky and you're probably right, but I really enjoy sort of traditional Christmas decorations like these. I mean, that, I mean, he's a little bit scruffy, but that kind of thing for 5 99 I think that's really quite cute just to have in the lounge. And 
think it's a little selection of nutcrackers are very very sweet how much are they they're 7.99 and they've got some mini ones up here oh and disney as well just spotted this not the duck the the tray i got something like this last year very very similar and it was really nice for any christmas hosting just seen this as well which is a really sweet idea the santa plate and this is only 7.99 it looks like it's the kind of thing you'd put out for children um, on christmas eve which if you've got children for 99p is very very cheap now i would like to get some more large gold baubles this year they have got a good bauble selection but i kind of want them in this size but they've only got them in the red. I don't know if you can really tell the size of these, but you get six in there. It's kind of like the size of like a fist, so they're quite big. I quite like a good size big bauble. These are a bit smaller and they've got these big tubs as well, only $4.99. Oh my god, how cool is this? You put your dips up top and your chips down the bottom. How cool. Last thing I need is another Christmas sort of display serving dish, but if you are looking for one, this is lovely and it's not plastic, <laughs> which is a bonus. I also think this is very, very elegant. Just says Merry couple of sort of candy cane design bowls and then ooh, what's that do you reckon that's like a cookie jar is that a cookie jar do we think it's got like oh yes it is a santa cookie jar it hasn't got a price on it but that is very sweet oh and then a mr and mrs claus tea for one that's really sweet little stocking fillers but i'm gonna stop saying sweet i'm really sorry unless i have completely missed them they don't seem to have many christmas candles i've just seen this one which is 2.99 for the big jar oh that smells festive enough that'll do Candle section does seem a lot small. Oh, I've just seen all the Christmas ones now. I guess these are Christmas, aren't they? Mulled wine. What does that smell like? It was a bit sweet for me, to be honest. If you like a sweet scent, you'll probably really enjoy that. Dark cherry, that's probably Christmas. I can't really smell that, to be honest. The warm apple and cinnamon is the one I've just smelled in the jar. Spotted these little Christmas Disney... Oh, my pet thing, you can't take us, can you? But these little Christmas Disney cups up here, which are very sweet. Oh, and just spotted this down here as well. This is sweet, a Christmas. So I keep saying everything's sweet, but I think Christmas is just sweet, isn't it? A sleigh serving board, which is very nice. And they've got a nice little Christmas tree serving board here too. Tablecloths, table runners. Stanley Jeeps here, but I've also seen a few people raving about these recently. They're the little snack trays that you put around the top of your Stanley cup. Um, I think I'm not gonna get one, just because I feel like that would be really lethal for me. But if you enjoy, look at that little snack on the Stanley cup. I think that's a great idea for 199. Maybe a nice little stocking filler as well for someone that enjoys their Stanley cup. Beautifully aesthetic and organized kitchen. And these jars are really good value. The big ones are 399 and the glass. And the little ones are 299. I do not have a particularly organized and aesthetic kitchen, so they're not for me, but I would love to do that <laughs> at some point. I think at some point I am going to get everything out and start again and really organize my kitchen, but that's not a job for the moment. And then look at these gorgeous mugs they've got as well. They've got their Christmas selection, of course, down the bottom. Really like this one, but you can put a little cookie in the front. I think that's really sweet. But equally, I think this is really nice as well. It's only $1.99. It's super simple, but that's just the sort of mug that would make you smile wouldn't it this, they called this the hobby mug but i think that's really nice as well with the yoga and the plants and things like that what this across here and this is hinch's autumn cozy collection hello guys right we are home and i've got a nice big bag of goodies here plus some bits on the floor that i couldn't fit in the bag so laughing at past me thinking i could go in there and not buy anything i mean what is a trip to home bargains if you don't come out with a load of stuff that you didn't need so anyway Let's get into it. There's not a huge amount of order in terms of, I'm just going to grab things out of the bag, so hopefully that's okay. Um, I've got a bit of Christmas and a bit of cleaning. That's kind of what we focus on unintentionally today. So that's the receipt. We don't need that. So I picked up one of these Slam D scalers. I really like these. I do like to clean my kettle with white vinegar and lemon when I can be bothered. I know I've moaned about it a lot on here already, but I do live in a really hard water area, so I need to descale my kettle a lot. So these are really handy. These were, I'll give you some prices if I can find them quickly. Oh, that's 99p for three sachets. So that seems really good value. I picked up some dried mango chunks. These are my go-to when I want something in the afternoon sweet, but I don't want it actually having sweets or chocolate. I know they're not great for you, but they're dried fruits, so they're better than having sweets or chocolate. So got some of those. Picked up two Harpic toilet cleaners. This is my favorite set. Oh, you can't see that. <laughs> this is my favorite scent, the mountain pine. It just smells really, really fresh. Um, these were on offer. I think they were two for £2.30, so can never have too many of those. 
Um, what else have we got? What should we move on to next? Something not in the bag. God, did anyone else just molt? Like, I'm just looking at my jumper in the camera, like, I've just got hair on me. I washed my hair this morning, and I find that, like, the 24, 48 hours after I wash my hair, I'm just, like, pulling out chunks of hair. Anyway, that's not what we were talking about, was it? I was going to show you my gingerbread house, which I did show you in the shop. Um, but this was, I think... $4.99, yes it was, $4.99. We'd like to do a gingerbread house decorating night as a girls' night just before Christmas, and we did one last year, um, and these sold out really, really quickly, so I just thought I'd pick one up in case I couldn't find another one closer to the time. So in the kit, you get six gingerbread biscuits, which is like the six, no, the four sides to your house, plus two pieces for the roof. You get the tray to build it on, which if you haven't made one before, that's really handy because it kind of like, the tray has little indents in it, so you can slot the bits of gingerbread in and it keeps it firm whilst you're trying to build it. So that's really, really handy. Sugar confetti to decorate, festive sprinkles to decorate, candy snowflakes to decorate, and an icing tube. Um, when we've done this before, I have gone out and bought like little extra bits to decorate it because the bits they give you obviously I mean you can decorate it like that but if you're anything like me you'll want to go extra and just completely cover it. I tend to buy like little bits so Smarties, Jelly Tots, Buttons, that kind of thing I think really decorates these well. So yeah that was 4 .99. Um, Next up very boring but we like these in our house. Well Connor likes these to be honest I have them if I'm peckish but he does like a Belvita so they're good to have in the cupboard. You just see me pick these up, but this sounds like just a bit of me. How much were these actually? Because I don't think these were very expensive. Three forty nine for eight sachets. Obviously, I'm keeping these for myself. I'm not even gonna lie. But um, these are great little stocking fillers. Or you know, those people that you bought a gift for, and you just need like something to top them up with. Or maybe like work colleagues where you only spend like five pounds. Or if you do secret Santa amongst your friends, these kinds of things are great just to like top up that gift with. So yes, I will be enjoying those. They won't be getting as a gift. Right, I've seen these, this brand everywhere. Designer fragrance. I've seen quite a few people using this up on my Instagram. Um, I actually don't really know what it is. I think it's some kind of air freshener. Blast can of air freshener removes even the toughest of odors. Od <laughs> removes even the toughest of ogres. <laughs> odors. Um, used in your home, fabrics, vehicles, footwear and clothing. So I'm guess it's one of those spray and leave things. I didn't really smell it properly in the shop because I got a bit shy, but <laughs> I was quite drawn in by the fact it's purple and alien with an X, which I'm assuming smells a lot like the alien perfume, which is one of my faves. Do I just spray it? Because that's not the nozzle I was expecting, if you know what I mean. That looks like a foam. Okay, I need to read the instructions. I'll be back. It says it features a high pressure blast nozzle to cover large areas quickly. Try it. Oh, it doesn't come, it comes out as like a, can you see that? Like a spray. Oh, it smells just like the Alien perfume. Okay, I'm super happy with that. Love that. They did have quite a few different scents in there, um, but Alien. Oh, I picked up a birthday card. I just needed one for someone soon picked up a hand soap I like to decant this into those reusable kind of soap dispensers sorry I'm sat really weird but I'm sat on the floor and I've got dodgy knees and if I sit on the floor without my knee up for too long it like locks so okay is that a bit better yeah that can go in um one of those decanting little things now I hadn't seen this before I don't know if I'm late to the party or whether this is a new fragrance but this got me very very excited cozy moments it says it's a seasonal scent and it's got Christmas baubles and Christmas stars on it. So that was very exciting. I haven't actually smelt this yet. I wonder if I'm going to be able to smell it properly because I've still got that alien scent going on around here. Ooh. What's that smell? Oh my gosh, I can't think what that smell is. It smells nice, but what is that? What's it supposed to be? What does it say it's made of? It smells nice. It smells festive. I just can't think. It smells familiar. Okay, I can definitely smell a bit of orange in there. Does it say what the scent is supposed to smell like? Oh, a burst of orange and winter berries with hints of clove and amber and cedarwood. That sounds like such a lovely festive scent. Um, I just picked up some salt this was something crazy like 70p and we just decant this into our salt mill so I just thought I'd grab one of those 
um, Christmas candle. You probably saw me pick this up in the store. Um, this I picked this up really because it's a Christmas jar candle and it was two ninety nine. And I just thought it's rude not to. This is the warm apple and cinnamon. Just smells like it smells like an artificial Christmas candle, but I don't think you can go wrong with those at that time of year. Sorry, I know this is very um, Christmas heavy. I didn't really expect it to be. There wasn't that much Christmas stuff. I mean, this and like two others were the only Christmas candles they had in there. So I felt like I had to pick it up, you know? This is my car favorite carpet refresher. It just smells really nice, 1001. It comes out as like a foam. You just leave it. You don't have to hoover it up again afterwards. But if you just want to quickly have a little refresh and make your house smell lovely, then I really like this. I think this is the pet safe one as well. I might be chatting rubbish. Maybe it isn't. Ignore my previous statement. I'm not saying it's not pet safe. There's just nothing on here to back up my statements. So <laughs> just forget I said that. Um, I picked up a, another bold laundry gel. This is relatively new to me, actually. I've started using this the last couple of months because I got sent the whole... Pause. Another day, another delivery. I feel like that's just my little gift to myself most days, isn't it? That was actually something from TikTok shop. So if I like it, I'll tell you guys more about it next time. But I feel like I don't want to rave about it if I don't know if I like it. So I'll tell you next time. Oh yeah, I was talking about this laundry gel. This scent is relatively new to me. This whole bundle was sent to me in a PR package. So I've got the scent boosters and the um, fabric conditioner as well. So I just wanted to keep get another one of these because I'm running out of this but it just means I can keep with the same scent. I'm one of those people I don't particularly like to mix and match my scents. So if I'm using a laundry detergent, I like to match that to the fabric conditioner. I wouldn't go for like, my usual fabric conditioner is the fairy, fairy something, it's white, but I wouldn't then mix that with this if I could avoid it because that just triggers all kinds of things in me. Um, and finally, I've been wanting to try this for a long time, so I was quite excited when I saw this. The Elbow Grease Bathroom Mousse. Again, I've seen quite a few people using this on my Instagram. Use on sinks, baths and showers. The only cleaner you'll ever need. That's a hell of a statement. I like that. Removes grime and soap scum. So from what I've seen, you just spray it on. So shake can well before use. Spray foam onto the surface and leave. Oh, leave for five to ten minutes to allow cleaning action to work. And then wipe clean with a cloth and rinse well. We'll give that a go. But I'm really excited to have seen that. So we'll definitely give that a go. Is that everything? Huh. Well, that was fun, but I wish I'd bought more now. <laughs> I like showing you guys that. And I feel like I've now got to find somewhere to store all of this. Let me know what you guys think about a haul like this. If you enjoyed it, is there anywhere else you would like me to do a haul for? Obviously, what are the options around here? So we've got B&M is an option. Home Sense is an option. Poundland is an option. We've actually got one of those close to us. Savers, do love a savers, although I know it doesn't have, the one near us doesn't have a particularly big cleaning section, but I can find another savers, which I'm sure is bigger. Um, I think that's more the main ones, but if you guys want me to do a haul from any of those, please just let me know. Equally, if you're like, no, no, just stick to your vlogs, don't do a haul, then I won't be offended, just let me know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to close this video off here. Thank you so much for joining me on my trip to Home Bargains, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.